And we're back at the Stock Recap Show. It is 24 January 2023, and I'm super excited to get into it today. But first, super important disclaimer, these videos are all for educational purposes only. Trade your own risk. Nine out of 10 traders loses money. One in three traders lose 90% or more. There's no guarantee you're gonna make money with this strategy or any other strategy. Don't risk money you can't afford to lose. Results are not typical. We got a high, fly, ball. And it is out of here. BIAF was up 75% today. Grom was up 44% and Kaz M was up 26%. We're going to look at the charts here in a second. So, um, yeah, the markets were a little wild today. A lot of expanded range candles. But BIAF was the biggest notable mover. Um, it doesn't look it doesn't look all that great. Um, there's only 8 million shares outstanding, but... 68 million shares traded hands today. So that's a big um, imbalance in terms of supply and demand in the market. So that's probably the reason for the big move. Grom was the next biggest move. This daily chart doesn't look all that great. Um, I guess the next target would be like five though. Um, and yeah, below 250 is looking looking really scary, but it looks like some, some green buying volume here so that's encouraging cos m is the last notable mover it was up 26 percent um this was on the notable movers a couple days ago and back in this at this big run december 16th where it went from uh i think it was four to 24 in in the day so it was up like 500 percent that day that was a wild wild swing um, but yeah, there's the risk of holding it overnight. It opened at seven after closing at 24. So just holding overnight, you could have lost 60% if you bought at the high. Uh, now let's get into the bout to break out stocks. It could go. Oh, and it's off the wall. UCL was up 17%. Okay. Um, this chart looks good though. This is really about to break out here um, I'm watching this tomorrow for sure um, not not a whole lot of volume though I just noticed that AMLI is the next one American lithium Corp and ironically it's it's a Canadian company I don't know Americans in the name but it, it's a Canadian company so that's interesting but the chart looks really good lithium is probably not a bad uh, investment for the long term, seeing as uh, it's a main component of the lithium ion batteries for all the EVs. Um, and the last bout to break out is Seabay. And this has been on the radar for a little while here, but this is a lot of volume and it's, it's a breakout pattern. So this could be heading toward 10. I'm definitely watching this $8 level tomorrow. Okay, so that's it for the bout to break out stocks. Now let's get into the scary stocks. I carumba. Some of these stocks just look terrible. Sat X was down 68% on heavy volume. So there's 78 million shares outstanding, but 25 million shares were traded today and it lost 68% of its value. So that's a really, really bad sign for this company. SCLX, this was down 31% today, but it didn't close like at the lows and it's not really at the the monthly or yearly lows. So I guess I guess that's not as bad a sign as SATX. Um, it was it traded over a million shares though. So that's not not too good because it was down 31%. Syad is the next um, scary stock. This is a company out of Belgium. Um, it's only a $40 million market cap. So pretty risky here. Um, if it can hold this longer term moving average though, then it could be just a bull pullback here. So uh, we'll see where it goes tomorrow. And that's it for the scary stocks. And that wraps up this recap show. If you are looking to accelerate your trade knowledge and profits, I know it can be incredibly painful and frustrating, especially if you're a beginner, but there is an easier way. 
Okay, you can place your call today on FridayTraders.com, and an expert of our team will be happy to assist you in your trade journey. Happy trading. I will see you tomorrow. See you then.